I am constantly telling you to take some reading to bed, but the reading I've been taking to bed recently hasn't necessarily been of the uh, book variety. It's been of the examiner report variety because the examiner's report has loads of really interesting things, but they're really, really long, they're really, really boring. Most people don't bother to read them. However, I have read them for you, and I'm gonna go through loads and loads of different things that the examiners think that you should know. In this video, I'm going to focus on all the different things about graphs that the examiner think you should know. Now, the really, really important thing, the really, really big thing that came up from this is that when you're marking your points on a graph, use a cross, not a dot. Because if there is a mark for plotting the points and then drawing the line of best fit over the top, if you draw dots, draw your line of best fit over the top, the examiner can't see the dots you've drawn. And if there's a mark for plotting the points correctly, if the examiner cannot see the points that you have plotted correctly, then the examiner cannot give you the marks. Whereas if you've plotted the points with crosses all over the place and then draw your line of best fit through it, then the examiner can see where you've plotted the points and the examiner can see the marks. When your papers get sent off to the exam board, they get scanned into a computer and then the person marking them sees the computer screen. Now on here it is really really hard to see dots. You used to be able to when you had the physical paper actually be able to look at it, look, like shine it the light, feel it a little bit, is there a dot on that bit of paper? But since they're all now being scanned into computers the examiner cannot do that and if you draw a line through all of your dots they cannot see the way you've plotted the points and they literally cannot give you the marks. The examiner cannot assume because you've drawn your line best fit correctly that you've plotted the points correctly. If you've covered them up and they can't see them, they cannot give you the marks for them. Some of you may like to put your points with a dot and a circle around it. Again, the examiner said no, please, please, please don't do this because if you've covered up the dot part with your line of best fit and you've drawn a circle around it, well, which point does the circle refer to? Are you just drawing a circle? The examiners can't tell exactly what the circle means. So again, the best thing that you need to do is draw a cross on it. Another thing that came up about graphs, and this is the biggest single mistake that people made in last year's physics paper. Last year's physics paper, you had to plot a graph. One of the points you had to plot was zero, zero. And then when it came to drawing lines of best fit, most people ignored zero, zero as a point. The origin, zero, zero, is a very, very important point. If you're asked to plot it, you need to include it in your line of best fit. If before you turn something on, nothing is flowing, that is an actual important scientific result. You need to plot this on your graph. Other things you need to remember about graphs is always draw a line of best fit. I know I've said that several times in the, this video so far, but it is really, really important. This is not a dot to dot. Do not join up all of the points. Do a smooth, confident line of best fit through those points. This may be curved, this may be straight. If it is a straight line, do it with your ruler. If it's a curved line, do it freehand. But do not do a feathery line where you stop and you hesitate and you start again. That is not a smooth confident line, that is not a line of best fit, that is not going to get you marks. If one of the pages in the exam is blank graph paper then make sure you use it appropriately. If you have a whole side of graph paper do not draw a teeny tiny little graph down in the corner. That is not going to get you marks, you have not used the graph paper appropriately make sure that you scale it so it fits the paper. Make sure your axes are scaled appropriately along the bottom and along the side. Make sure you label your axes and make sure you add in your units. I'm going to be looking at loads more videos with hints that I've picked up talking to the examiners but those are the two main things that they talked about graphs. 